morning, Sandy. You sound a bit down, mate. Are you all right? <coughs> no, I'm quite. I just uh, the voice is a little bit uh, croaky after last night. What's it feel like to be plucked? <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, oh, you've well. been grabbed as a kid, haven't you? And uh, gone. Did you go through the under 19s? No, I, no. I was actually uh, brought down for the under 19s, but um, I started off in the seconds in '74, and then later on in the season they put me into the seniors. What size were you in '74? I was uh, two yards of pump water. Same, <laughs> same height, same height, and about 13 stone. I about, think. And what weight are you now? About no, 15. 15, 8, 15, 10, yeah. Actually, I think that the photo in the record yesterday uh, says it all. Yeah, it's a classic we, we, we've all got our records in front of us. <laughs> Come on, Bob. Perhaps you could put that on a camera. And if you haven't seen it yet, what a, a lovely shot. Blast from the past. <laughs> <laughs> Simon, uh, it, congratulations. Terrific effort. Thanks, Bob. Yeah, and uh, it's funny, doesn't it? Like Simon's only 30 and he's now played 300. A lot of years to go, hopefully. Well, we'll, we'll just see, we'll take them one at a time. Signed for two years with Essendon, and that'll yeah. uh, I think that'll see me. Is that a further two years, or just including next year? No, two, yeah, two two years next year and the, and year, the year after. And and actually, year I should, just, yeah. just to go on from that, that uh, Simon, I heard an interview during the week where you said you had your down little period at, at one particular time. It's pretty hard to play twenty two good ones each week yeah. or each year. So I mean, it's a terrific lesson for youngsters. Just explain that, perhaps well, to anyone yeah, watching well, I today. Just, I just went through, you know, a, a sort of a bad period that I. Um, I was, was sick for a little while, I had this uh, uh, kidney complaint that kept me down for a while, I got over that. Then I, um, uh, my form went, went, wasn't going too well, I lost the captaincy and I ended up in the, uh, in the seconds and I came, I came late for the seconds, about three quarters an hour late and, and the policy of the club was if you're late you sit on the bench, so yeah. at 25 I'm sitting on the bench for the seconds. <laughs> so not many careers go <laughs> uphill from there. Simon, congratulations, um, fantastic career so far. I'm interested in this uh, house husband bit. now. <laughs> Was this the pressures of modern day football or that you've given up teaching full time? Um, a, a little bit that way. I mean, when I started playing, you know, if teaching and football fitted together very well. You taught from Monday to Friday and then you trained after five o'clock, three nights a week and played on Saturdays. And that was easy to fit together. Now, you've got to play Friday nights, Sundays. I mean, in a, this, I've played interstate football, I've played in interstate carnival, so that took up a week. And all of a sudden, you just can't fit full time football with a full time job. So you've got to, you know, sort of. And at my age, you need a few days to recover <laughs> after a game too. So, for this year, I've just I'm um, working one day a week. And, Bob, uh, Simon, uh, how close were you to going to Sydney? Uh, of well, it was close. I mean, it was a, a good offer. I mean, it was yeah. a big, a lot of money, but it was money wasn't just the only consideration. It's, uh, I mean, it is definitely a consideration. But the, I, I think if you're happy where you are, and I was at that stage. Mm. Uh, I mean, and we did have a chance of doing well. We since haven't followed that through yet. But uh, I was happy where I was and enjoying my football, and uh, and you know I thought, well, that's you know I'm settled now. I'll stay there. Kelvin, Simon, my congratulations. Also, I just wonder what's the feeling when you line up against brother Justin in the big game, say final situation. Oh, in the final situation, it'll be you know if we get in, that'll it'll be uh, it'll be uh, an interesting one. Um, we, I like to. I mean, we've always had a bit of a you know, competition between us since since we were kids, and I, and, uh, I know he's, he's getting seems to be getting bigger and getting more experienced, and uh, <laughs> I'd li I'd like you know continually to uh, to beat him, but it's not it's no longer it's no longer the younger brother, it's definitely not the little brother. <laughs> it's just the brother now. I've got to try and beat him. Simon, my congratulations, very well done. Yeah. Uh, back in the late seventies, when Barry Davis had his baby bombers, did you envisage your career being as long and Essendon about to go into a tremendous era for them? Um, well, no, probably not. I mean, I, I can remember saying to somebody when I, after I was about 17 or 18, I said, well, if I play eight years and finish at 24, oh, you know, I've had a good suit, I've had a, you know, a good career. And, and I just thought, uh, you know, being able to play foot, you didn't play football when you were 30, you just never got there when, back then. And I, I, at that stage in the late 70s, we, we weren't a great football team. We were just struggling in the middle of the, you know, middle order. And we stayed there for a while. We actually got into a few elimination finals, but with no success. How important has Kevin Sheedy been? Well, he's 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 been excellent. He, um, I mean, he he probably we did have we did as I say had the potential. You know, we definitely did have the, have the potential, but um, he took that potential and moulded it in the right direction. Brought in a few experienced players, good recruiting from interstate, and formed a very good team. Simon, thanks for your time this morning. Congratulations once again, and good luck at the. Um VFL Tribunal. No worries. Is that the first time? Uh, no, no, yeah, I've been twice before, but umpires have been wrong. Have so. you got a lot? Of, <laughs> have you got a lot of character witnesses? <laughs> <laughs> Bob, Billy Duckworth wanted to Won't come up. Did he really want to be there? Won't be you. Oh,